Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I think this is going to be a really fun one, but before I get into that, I wanted to give you guys a quick update. If you saw my last video, today, right now, the day that I'm filming this, is the day after we had the fire in our kitchen. And if you don't know what I am referring to, you should go watch my last video. It was quite eventful. Um, I spent about two hours this morning cleaning the kitchen. It's looking pretty good now. There was so much oil everywhere and dust and stuff from the fire extinguisher was all over the place so it took a very long time to clean up but luckily there's no damage. I think we might have to replace the one stove burner that got sprayed by the fire extinguisher but I'm still gonna try and see if maybe I can scrub it off and then if not we'll replace it. So that's really it with that. I have some soot from cleaning it's like lodged into my finger like into my fingerprint you're probably not going to be able to, it's not going to focus so you won't be able to see it and then when I was blowing my nose this morning there was some soot from inhaling some of the smoke but it's all good everything is perfectly fine now so Anyways, moving on to today. It is a beautiful day outside and we wanted to enjoy the weather, take advantage of it, so we are going to get out of the apartment. Scott is taking me to a place that he's been to before with one of his friends. It's called Bow Market, B-O-W, and it's in Somerville, which is a really nice area right near Boston. And really young crowds and they have a ton of really good restaurants and stuff to do and breweries and we don't get out there enough we need to explore that a little bit more but this is a good first step the way that scott described bow market to me it sounds almost like i don't think food court is the right terminology but there's like a bunch of shops where you can get food. There's a couple different breweries. Scott went to Remnant last time with his friend and really enjoyed it, so we'll probably get some beers from there. And they have outside seating and indoor seating. We reserved a table outside so that we can enjoy this beautiful day. And yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along, show you the area so that you can get an idea if you wanna visit this place, or you can just come along with me and see how we enjoy it. So. We're gonna be leaving here in less than an hour, probably half an hour, 40 minutes, and I'm looking forward to it. Do you want sunscreen? I think I'm gonna bring this anyways, but. I think I'll, I'll be okay. Okay, I'm just gonna put some on my face. Okay, yeah, I think we'll only be out there for like 90 minutes. Okay. okay. Use my camera as a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you wanna get his? Treat. Yes. Peanut butter. Ready? And then we can hit the road. All right. Did you guys eat last time you went there, or just get drinks? Yeah, we ate. Oh, you did? Yeah. There, there's there's a bunch of little. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Yeah.
All right, we are home now. Sorry I didn't talk to you guys much when we were at, or at all, when we were at Bow Market. They had live music playing and it was pretty loud in the background, so I didn't think you guys would be able to hear me if I did talk to you, but it was a lot of fun. Weather was absolutely beautiful. We were sitting out in the sun. It was great. They had a bunch of different little shops on the second floor of the market and then the first floor was all of the food and beverage places. They had tons of different options, lots of vegetarian options. I got a veggie burger, Scott got a like veggie hot dog and then we got some poutine to split and then we also got drinks and we didn't know it, but this place is actually dog friendly. There were so many adorable dogs there. We got there, first thing we saw was a dog and we felt so bad that we left Murphy behind. But I think I'm going to continue this video and just make a weekend vlog out of it. Murphy is very excited that we are home. <laughs> and now I think maybe we'll have some ice cream, possibly. Got some Mary Cone Dream, and we're gonna watch Love, Death, and Robots. We had our ice cream, and now it is not even seven o'clock, and let me tell you, we are so tired. Scott just went to go lay down in bed. I'm probably gonna lay on the couch and watch a movie or something. I really want to fall asleep, but I know if I do that, I'm not gonna get to sleep tonight, and that would just be bad. Honestly, I know it's not summer yet, but there's no sign that you had a good summer day like when you spend time outside in the sun and then you're dead tired before sunset, before it even gets dark out. That means you had a good day. Hey everyone, good morning. I have no idea what video this is gonna be going in. It might be the start of a new one or maybe not. I do have some footage from over the weekend. Scott and I went out on the town. So maybe I'll put that in here or maybe that's already posted as a separate video. I don't know, I don't really know how much footage I got or if it's enough to be a separate video so we'll see what happens I need to figure my stuff out I wanted to swear there but I always censor myself I don't know why I think it's because I don't want to get comfortable with swearing and then let something slip out at the wrong time like at work or to the wrong person although I don't think people at work would really care I don't know but I don't typically swear a lot unless I'm drinking then I get a little a little more loose lipped I guess anyways I'm on my way to work right now as you could probably tell it is 6 30 bright and sunny out the sun is up this is how it is in New England in the springtime in the summer it gets bright very early so I'm headed to the office to do some testing it should only take a couple of hours I'm doing some practice runs for verification testing that's gonna be starting later this week we had um, okay that guy angry at me for driving anyways we have testing starting later this week and we want to make sure that all the testers know how to properly follow the protocol so we're doing some test runs that way hopefully everything goes smoothly and even though I have gone through this protocol before I still need to do it as part of the training so that we can document it all properly and just in case if the FDA comes, we can prove that all the trainers went through the training or all the testers went through the training and did the test runs and all of that stuff. So that is why I'm going in. Hopefully it'll be pretty quick, pretty smooth, and then we'll get on with the rest of the day. Ooh, it is so hot out here. I just finished working. I'm headed home now. It took longer than expected but I learned some good things I think 
testing should go smoothly. I think I have a pretty good grasp on it. So now, since that took longer than I thought it would, I only have a couple more hours of work left once I do get home. I have to stop and get gas. I just remembered, I, so I need to make sure I do that. But Scott actually also ended up working from home today because we had a package that we knew was coming that we had to sign for, and we weren't sure if it would come in the morning while I was gone, so to make things easier, he just worked from home. He ordered wine online. He got like a really good deal. We got seven bottles of wine <laughs> that's gonna last us like at least all summer it's gonna last us for months and he got seven bottles for like 50 bucks or something which is a really good deal and I actually think I also have another package I ordered a couple of dresses because I have a wedding to go to next weekend actually Memorial Day weekend so I needed some new dresses I wanted some new dresses and I'm gonna see how they look, maybe do a little try-on haul for you guys. And yeah, things went well. I'm looking forward to getting home and I'm excited that Scott's gonna be there. I love getting home and having him there, so yay. I made the executive decision since I'm going home at lunchtime at like one o'clock and since Scott's also at home, I'm picking us up some lunch from Chick-fil-A and I am so excited about it. All right, I'm about to show you the three dresses that I got. I'm gonna try them on to see how they fit. I got them from Shein, and I hate that I got them from Shein because I don't like fast fashion, and I understand that it's cheap and it's fast, and that's part of the reason why I did get them from there, but I don't like supporting companies in fast fashion, so I feel kind of guilty about it, but I'm going to try them on and see how they look. They're all pink, two of them are floral. These, The two on the ends are very similar, but yeah, I'm excited to see how they look. Okay, here is the first one. Super cute, flowy, fits really well. I like it, seven out of 10. Okay, here is the other floral option. Very much similar to the first one, but I think I like the colors of this one better and the flowers, very, very similar though. 7.5 out of 10. And the last one is this cute little wrap dress. I think this one's my favorite. I think it's really cute. Also, yes, I am trying these on with a sports bra. I really like how this one looks. I think it's super flattering. Nine out of 10. I am very satisfied with all three of these dresses. I will definitely be wearing one to the wedding in a couple weeks. I'm not sure which. Maybe it'll be this one with, <laughs> without the sports bra, with something a little bit more suitable for the occasion. And then after that, the week after that, we have a grad party for Scott's cousin in North Carolina, and I'm expecting it to be very warm, so I'll probably wear one of these dresses for that as well. And then I'll have the third one for a different occasion. So yeah, don't like, like I said, don't like that I supported a company with morals that I don't believe in, but I'm trying to be a more conscious shopper and trying to pay more attention to that stuff. I'm not perfect, but I'm trying. So yeah, very excited about these. The wine, I know I mentioned that earlier, the wine has not come yet. It's probably gonna be here later today. It's supposed to be here by the end of the day. And I think we'll probably crack open a bottle whenever it does show up just so we can indulge a little bit celebrate getting through another Monday because that's always a reason to celebrate. Also, I just changed out of the dress, but my legs and my feet are killing me because I was standing for basically the whole morning for five and a half hours while I was doing all of that testing. I don't understand how people who have occupations where they're always on their feet every single day I don't know how you do it. Nurses, doctors, I'm sure there are tons of other occupations as well. Props to you because that is 
not easy. Okie dokie, I am on my way to pick up dinner for Scott and I. We've been eating out more than usual recently. We need to dial that back. Actually, I think this entire vlog, every single meal that I've shown, we've been eating out or getting takeout. So definitely need to reel that back in, but you know what, it's fine. Scott was having kind of a rough day today and we don't have a ton of groceries so all the options that we had for cooking weren't that appealing to him and plus we didn't really want to put in the effort to cook so we're getting Moe's some nice comfort food hopefully it'll cheer him up he seems to be doing better now but hopefully that will cheer him up a bit the wine still has not shown up I am actually getting the sneaking suspicion that it's not going to come until the very end of the delivery window at like 9 o'clock at night when we're starting to get ready for bed and we won't be able to try it. I'm hoping I'm wrong, but that's the sneaking suspicion I'm getting. I definitely don't think we're going to have it in time to eat it with our dinner. Also, complete side note, but I forget how happy... It makes me, when it's light out for so much longer, the sun hasn't been setting until eight o'clock at night, and I just love that it is almost 6.30 right now, and it is still so sunny, and this morning when I was driving to work at 6.30 in the morning, it was also just as sunny. That makes me so happy, and I always forget that in the winter, and then once the days start getting longer, I realize how big of an impact it really has. I just love it. Alright, I'm giving up on waiting for the wine. I was gonna wait for it to come and include it in this video, but it's 7.30 right now. I honestly still don't think it's gonna come until like 9 o'clock. Scott doesn't even think it's gonna come today anymore. He thinks it's gonna come tomorrow. So I'm just going to end this video here. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. I post new videos every three days, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!